Hi everyone, my name is Avalon and this is Nurse in the Garden and I am doing somewhat of a DIY today. As you can see, I have these ladder mesh um, panels, I guess to call them, in the background right here. And what I'm planning on doing with this is make somewhat of a trellis. Um, so I've seen some videos and I think I can do it. I have some um, zip ties. They're like right there on the floor from Dollar Tree. And I'm hoping to make a trellis and just zip tie these ladder meshes together to make a tall, maybe like a six foot ladder mesh um, trellis. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna show you guys the area that I wanna place this in. Right back here, I have one bean and two beans. <laughs> so I have my uh, yard long beans planted back here. Funny story, we actually call this Bodhi in our culture, in the Trinidadian culture. Um, and they're just like a yard long bean. Their beans, the beans are very long and very flavorful and amazing for stir fries and curries and things like that. So I, I wanna put the mesh coming around and up and over to this side and hopefully still have some walking room for myself. So once I'm able to put the mesh together, hopefully I can then measure and place these um, the trellis out so that I can still have some walking space back here. Okay, so I am in the shaded part of my backyard right now um, because it is hot today and I wanna get this set up. So as you can see, I have two la ladder mesh here and um, I have the zip ties from Dollar Tree as well. So I have these zip ties that I'm gonna use. Um, they should hold pretty well. Um, I may have to reinforce um, the zip ties because they're not like the strongest, but it should do the job. to do with these ladder mesh is pretty much like overlap them so that they can get the height that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to zip tie and reinforce each area with maybe two or three zip ties. So one thing I didn't mention was that I got these um, ladder mesh from Home Depot. So um, it's like if you get go into the masonry section of the store, you should find these. I found like a whole ton just pretty much just sitting there. Like, like it seemed like no one ever used any of these um, ladder mesh at all. Um, I think each was either between three and five dollars I can't I can't remember the exact cost at this moment um, but it's much more affordable than for me and practical for me to get ladder mesh or light but yeah as I was saying um, this is a lot more affordable than me getting um, and practical as I said because it's it'll be hard for me to drive pretty much out of state or it's hard to locate certain things in New York, such as like gardening, things like that. Um, I'll have to drive a longer distance. Gas prices are not affordable these days. So for me, it's just much more practical to do something like this. And the beans that I'm gonna trellis are not that heavy. So I think it should be able to withstand the, the, 
the weight of beans um, compared to like heavier things that other people may need for salad beans that are much heavier. Okay. So I'm just gonna secure the other side right now. For me to get the um, ladder mesh home, it was very easy because all I had to do is just put down my back seats and bend the mesh in half. Um, the only downfall from that was that it, it kind of developed a um, like a bend, but um, I've been laying this out for a bit and now that I'm securing them together, it should be able to kind of get that initial bend out of it. At least I hope so, um, so that it won't be sticking up too much. I'm almost done. I'm just securing the ends. just now find a good place to stick this in and I'm going to push it down as much as I can seen other people do is put like some wood to help stabilize it and that's what I'm gonna have to do because it is not staying perfectly centered as I would like it to but it has a good height and I think it should be able to trellis the beans because this is pretty malleable and I'm 5'5 five five, so this is about six foot right where I want it so I'm gonna have to figure out to get some stabilization for it. All right, guys, here is my makeshift trellis. This is pretty much the vision I had for this area is to have my garden beds and that trellis with my beans growing over it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. This is pretty, it might be a little bit unstable if a hard wind comes along and rocks this, but I'm going to figure something out as time goes on. As for right now, this is what I want. Um, as you can see, the bean plant is here, so it's a pretty far distance, but I think as it starts to grow, I can take it over to this section, and this bean is a little bit closer. So I'm hoping that this continue to grow and I could grow it upwards. Um, 
So as you saw, I did the zip ties in this area and then I did zip ties to these like basically sticks I found in the garage. And I'm gonna figure something out. I was going to use this right here, but I think I'm gonna have to dig a hole and then cover it back up, then secure it to the ladder mesh um, because I can't just stick it in and I'm overheating out here. It's starting to get really hot. Um, but I think this looks good for now. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, this actually looks not too bad. I am not mad at it at all. I just have to secure it some more and I think it'll be perfect. Can't you imagine beans growing over this right now? Like I could, I really could. All right, so <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it looks great. Um, as I said, I'm gonna have to secure it some more, but um, yeah, thank you for coming along with me with this project. Hope you subscribe, hope you like, and I'll see you next time, bye.